So Pro Tools 10 finally gets released. Got the copy as soon as it came out. I haven't posted a video about it because I wanted to uh, play around with Pro Tools, check out some of the features before I made a video. A lot of people made videos about it and I know I'm pretty late, but here we go. Let me show you some of the cool new features that were recently added to Pro Tools 10. Now over here I have a session by an artist named Moon. I'm working on this mix. Let me play for you guys. Check it out. Let's go, let's go. You make me go, oh, 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 prom. No way to solve, no way to stop it. Get the fly shoe, gotta cop it, gotta cop it. Nice. So there's a couple of things that need fixing. Number one, you can hear the breaths. Number two, some of the S's are popping out. Also, there are some parts that are just a little louder than others. And normally, I would write a fader, write some automation to fix this. As you can see, there's some automation there. I was writing the fader. But still, there's some adjustments that need to be made. For example, this first part here, I think it's a little too loud. This is how we'll do it. Bring that down. Now let's play it. Let's check it out. Let's go, let's go. You make me go, oh, 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 prom. A little too low. So we're going to have to fix it. But you know what? I'm going to undo that. And I want to show you the new way of doing this. Now, I have added something called clip based gain, and it's pretty cool. Check this out. I'm going to separate by pressing the B key on the keyboard. And if you look right here, you'll see it says zero dB, and it shows you a picture of a little fader. If you click that, a fader opens up. Now you're able to increase the volume or lower the volume down. And this is a pretty cool feature. Let's try that. Down a little more. Let's go, let's go. You make me go. Oh, 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 prom. No, no. Sweet. Another thing we could do, we could go right to the breaths. <laughs> Normally, I'll just completely cut them, but you know what? Let's separate and grab that, bring it all the way down. Check it out. Oh, 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 prom. No way to solve. No, no. Oh, 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 prom. No way to solve. No, no. All right, so now let's try to do a little bit of DSing here, some manual DSing. You want to separate that? Let's just bring that down. No way to solve. No way. No way to solve. No way. You guys get the idea. This is pretty cool. Before DSing, either you write the automation down or you put the S's onto a separate track and you control them through a separate fader. That's some of the ways you could do it and you guys know there's plugins for that. So let's see what else we have here. How many of you guys started creating fades in your session, you save them and a year later you revisit that session and for whatever reason it's missing all those fades and you have to sit there and scan. So they eliminated all of that now. Now when you create a fade, it's doing it in real time. It's no longer rendering a separate file for that fade. That's how uh, Pro Tools 9, 8 and so on worked. And everything's in real time. So if I wanted to get rid of this and I wanted to create a fade, there you go. All in real time. It's not creating that individual file on your hard drive. Another cool thing, Avid introduces a new uh, plugin format. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to duplicate this track. I'm actually going to take all of this off. Um, yeah, it's fine. All right. So over here, we have three new plugins that they recently introduced. Channel Strip, Down Mixer, and Mod Delay 3. And personally, this uh, channel strip is pretty awesome. Let's see what else we have here. We have the down mixer and we have the mod delay three. I haven't played around with this particular plugin yet, but I'll definitely take a look at it when I have some time. Now, another cool thing that they uh, recently added, 32 bit. Click that, you're gonna see a 32 bit float. Pretty cool, a lot more headroom, higher resolution, something to definitely look into. Now, another thing that they did, they changed the format. So when you save, it's saving under a whole new format. If you have Pro Tools 10 and you have Pro Tools 9 on a laptop or an older version, it does have the option to save under those uh, older formats. If you go to your plugins, now they have this uh, Avid Market. So if you click that, you can purchase, upgrade, buy a new version of Pro Tools within Pro Tools. So Pro Tools has its own web browser in a way, which is pretty cool can't browse and go to other websites but it's only locked into uh the avid site and to the duc so if you need help with anything you go to the help on the top over here and you're gonna go to the audio forms and when you click that the duc launches 
And as you can see, I'm signed in. I can start posting, talking to people, right within Pro Tools 10, which is uh, pretty cool. Now there's something else that they added, but I don't have to feature because I don't have the complete production toolkit. And basically it's the cache, the disk cache. Basically what this is gonna allow you to do, it's gonna take your session and dump it into your RAM. So Pro Tools will be a lot snappier, a lot quicker. You can click anywhere in the session, it's gonna play instant the minute you hit that space bar doesn't matter how many uh tracks you have as long as you have enough memory and the way it works it gives you an option if you have four gigs of ram you're going to select four if you have eight 16 you're going to select the right amount of ram before i go the last thing i want to talk about is delay compensation pro tools 9 they introduced delay compensation without the use of uh tdm the hd hardware so if we go to setup and we go to uh playback engine Right here, you're gonna see delay compensation. And over here, we have short, which is 1023, long, 4095, and we have maximum, which is 16K. You know, I have a couple of plugins that get close to the 495. So if I put two of them, it'll turn red, telling me it's not compensating anymore for the amount of delay. So this helps with the 16K. So I think that's pretty cool that they added that. Some plugins out there have a huge amount of delay, and that definitely fixes the issue. But there you go, guys. This is Pro Tools 10. Again, I don't have the complete production toolkit. There's a couple of features I don't have because of that. So definitely check that out. Also, you could go to the DUC and check out some of the cool uh, topics there. Find out uh, about some of the new plugins, the new format. I'll have some information in the description. But anyway, guys, this is Ray. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. You see that yellow subscribe button right there? Click that, and I'm out of here. Later, guys.